Yo, 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 people. It's your boy, Shells Tastic for Shells Tastic Sports. How are we doing? Marble video from Group B, which I didn't get to yesterday. Just like the Group A games, both games were on simultaneously. So I had one game on the phone, one game on the TV. I had the England game on the TV, and I had this one. I'm going to talk about the US versus Iran. USA, sorry, versus Iran on the phone. And to be honest with you, the first half, when I was watching both of them at the same time, this game was better than the first half. It was a lot more entertaining. The US was pushing. Iran was playing well. But I think the US edged the first half. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, they definitely edged the first half. Um, but it was a very good game. Um, and yeah, it was very close and competitive. Iran were playing really well themselves. Um, and yeah, this, like I said, it was a shootout for them, really. Because obviously England, Wales had the slimmest chance. But England were already basically through. So in this game, it was literally between both of them. And I think if I look correctly, because Iran lost to England, but they beat Wales, so they won three points. USA didn't win the game, did they? They drew against Wales and drew against England. So Iran was the team in the ascendancy. Iran only needed to keep the game at nil nil, or just keep it a draw, and they were going through regardless. Because I think most of us knew England were going to beat Wales, so it was always just a thing for Iran to just basically they just needed to basically they didn't have to win the game. Some and that sometimes in football could become a dangerous mindset to have where you don't need to win, you just have to basically avoid defeat and you basically got your passive through to the next round. And that can be a dangerous mentality because you stop going after the game and you start kind of sitting in. But to be fair to Iran, they did try to they were still playing, but I think the US definitely edged that first off and then they scored obviously Mr. Pudisic, as they call him over in America, Captain America. He scored um, it was a nice football movement. Good, it was a good ball. If I remember, who someone put in a nice ball. I'm just trying to think. I think it was McKenney putting a nice little diagonal ball, 70, 40, 50 yards across. And I know Sergio Des headed it across and Pulisic. I know he took a, he took a hit from the keeper, but he came in and put the tap in, and I think he and then he collided with the keeper, which actually in the end ruled him because he he was moving gingerly after some. Hopefully for his case, he wasn't too badly injured or anything like that. Did it, um, I thought it looked like he was quite winded, but it might it looked a bit more because he came off after half time as well. He couldn't continue after, so um, hopefully for him he he's, he can play in the the round of sixteen game against the Dutch because that'd be a big big blow for the USA to lose their talisman just now going in, in, in their most important game. So yeah, but um, yeah, it was, uh, he was a star of the show because he had a few nice dribbles through as well. I think they edged the first half definitely and they took the lead as well. But I think second half Iran um, definitely came out. All guns blazing. They had to in it. Everything was on the line there. They had to go after it because you know they were going out at that stage. They just they only needed the goal to equalize. So yeah, they did. They, they kind of threw everything at it, um, but it wasn't quite enough. The US did hold on, but the US did have to work for it. They had to defend, keep balls out of the box. I think I'm not sure. I think to turn off to make a few saves. I'm, I'm sure he made a couple, but the defense was definitely under pressure. Iran did everything. They half they puffed. They just couldn't blow that door down and. The US held on for dear life in the end, and yeah, they're through. But obviously, a second, so they do play Holland in the in in the round of sixteen. Obviously, England will play um, Senegal. So yeah, the two teams that we expected to get through the group did get through in the end. Um, but yeah, it was it was definitely better for me. It was a more intent and better. It was more in grueling game than the it, Wales England one because Wales England one, first off was quite poor for me. Second half, England obviously turned up a notch and just showed their class. But then after that, it was very comfortable. This game was throughout from from minute one to minute ninety odd. It was very interesting. So yeah, it was a good game. But the US got through in the end. So they on they go on to on they march on to round sixteen. Um, see what they can do. It's a Dutch. What do you guys think of the game? Do you think it was an intense game like I did? It was kind of end to end a lot of the time. I think the US definitely is the first half. I think Iran definitely won by far the better team in the second half. But obviously they had to. They had to, they had to go push everything, put it on the line of going out. So yeah, what did you lot think? Did you think the same as me or did you see a completely different game or is there anything I missed out on the points? But yeah, that's what I thought. Leave your, leave your comments in the section below for what you thought. Like, share, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff, people. And your boy Shell Tassi will be back with another video very soon. Peace.